Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video tutorial series. Uh, this time I'm going to make a video over using Mathematica to analyze an RLC circuit. Basically it's a simple uh, transmission line model. We try and we'll analyze the out output here across the capacitor and then put here. In this video, I will not go over the math uh, in detail because that's outside of scope and that will make this video really long. So basically, I assume that you know the math behind this already and I just want to show you guys how to use the tool from Mathematica um, to analyze it. So let's just begin. So let's begin by clear all, clearing the variables inside Mathematica using the global clear all global command so it's just a reminder that shift enter is how you execute a command in Mathematica so this is our trans function that we will be working with the numerator is 1 over LC and the denominator is 1 over LC plus S times R over L plus S squared. So this is a standard equation for an, a series RLC circuit where you have omega naught square here on the numerator and omega naught square here in the denominator plus s times omega naught over q where q is equal to omega naught times l over r and then you get the s square term because this is a second order low pass so the next thing we need to do is we need to convert the s terms into a frequency dependent term uh, so we define our variable tf and this, this is equal to Let's use a replacement command in uh, Mathematica using the following uh, inputs. So we replace the S term with the imaginary uh, I times 2 pi times F. Uh, normally you don't have to actually, uh, you know, put the uh, asterisk here to indicate multiplication but just for uh, clarity I just gonna put in there let's see the output uh, oh crap there's a s okay yeah so I forgot the s there so we're, we're gonna use this tr uh, trans function to plot we're going to plot that trans function in Mathematica. Let's go ahead and define a function using uh, the function defined LC. So we have four inputs for our function, trans function. And we're just going to easily copy this here. And you notice that these variables are, as our inputs are highlighted as green color that means that Mathematica recognizes the inputs that we put here if we don't then it's going to be a blue color you see here so that's wrong so what you need to do is have the underline underscore um, key so let's go ahead and execute that shift enter so the next part is where it's going to get uh, fun and interesting I think uh, where we're going to use the manipulate command to dynamically uh, plot a function and then alter inputs in real time and uh, I'll go over that in the next uh, video in part two thanks